Ok. I think they're ready. I think they're ready. Mm. Let me just screw for a second. I just. Mm. Nasty. Tone. If you are ever on the uh, ultimateguitar.com forums in 2005, that's what they called tone. Take notes. <laughs> hey, uh, it's your girl. It's HTA. Uh, Sunday afternoon vibe in. Feeling real good. Feeling real nice. Weather's looking lovely. About to. It's it's day two. Street Fighter 6 has been out for two days. Uh, the release date was the 2nd of June. It is the 4th of June today. 48 hours, less than that even. Can you believe it? The day has finally arrived. Um, you already know I have been anticipating this game with like great eagerness. But I haven't, I haven't streamed anything yet because I wanted to play the game. You know, just like play the game for real. And like, you know, like... It's a new game, so like a bunch of like tutorial tooltips are gonna pop up, and I'm gonna want to read all of them, even though I, I of course fucking know what like everything does. Um, it's just, uh, it's it's just video game shit, right? But like, I'm just I'm just wired that way. Like, I'm gonna have to read every fucking tooltip. I'm gonna have to play through the world tour. I gotta like spend several hours on the character creator. You know how it goes. Um, and just vibe, just so I just see what see what the vibe is like, see see what's happening, and um, I can I can report uh, without a shadow of a doubt that this is uh, quite quite an excellent game. There's like a uh, uh, some good shit going on here. This is this is from initial impressions, of course. But like I I, I don't think that I'm I'm gonna be changing my mind. I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna be moved on that. <laughs> very much <laughs> like i've already uh the, the, the cost has been sunk i'm already i'm already deep in the hole in terms of like emotional investment on this game like uh i like uh I, I went to the blackjack table of like street fighter 6 with my heart fucked up some 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 metaphors and like uh, i have returned as a vtuber you see the results before you uh, <laughs> so uh, you, you know what it is. You, you, you know what it do. Uh, I've been 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 out on the beach today. Um, it's 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 a, it's a beautiful sunny day. The beach is like just five five minutes down the road from my place. I went a bit further afield than that. Uh, I found found a nice quiet spot. Nice quiet spot with the homie. You know you know how it goes. You're like just just sitting there looking at the sea. Just uh, um, feeling, feeling uh, waves of gratitude flow over you. Uh, drinking a lukewarm beer and like just getting baked. Just getting, just, just, you know, when you're like sitting, you just sat there and like just, just uh, absorbing these, these uh, beautiful UV rays, and like you just feel your IQ points just like dropping. You just feel like your intelligence just like turning into mush. Thanks to the, the the wonderful rays of like uh, the sun. Ah, that that wasn't. That, I got another beer right here. Don't worry. You, you feel your IQ points just like dropping gradually as you're drinking your beer, enjoying the enjoying the environs. And I thought to myself, how come there is not a fucking tier list out here? Like. This, this is day two. This is Street Fighter Six day, the second day of Street Fighter Six. Where, where are the tier lists at? I need people. I need takes. I need people to tell me which character is good and which character is bad. And it seems like people have like abdicated their responsibility, and I gotta take that upon myself. Uh, Y'all talk about lazy devs. No, it's lazy gamers. Y'all are slowful. Y'all are full of sloth, and you're too too naive 
to to childlike in your conceptions of the world to to realize uh, the grave sin that you're that you're that you're living in. Not I. I am an experienced bitch. I am I am a VTuber of like a different kind of caliber, and that's why I, um, I I I took it upon myself. Bring the people their tearless. Let people know who is good, who is at the top of the food chain, and who who sucks shit. Who 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 is who is eating dookie? Who is eating dookie in this game? Y'all need to know. I got opinions. I uh. I don't really have opinions. Uh, okay, let, let's get let's get real for a second here, right? Uh, Street Fighter Six. This is a uh, day two. Wait, let, let me let me turn down. Let me turn this down just a little more. Up. Okay, Street Fighter Six. This is day two. Um, let, let's have a like a, a, a frank discussion. Uh, let's let's put our cards on the table like the uh, the tearless industrial complex. This is a uh, this is a, a a real like easy like zero effort required like uh, content move like uh, pump out tier lists um, and and people will click. And that's that's the idea at least. And uh, I've always found it um, hilarious, just like uh, how. Um, how simple it is to, 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 to manipulate people into like feeling some sort of like inadequacy about like this this completely uh, ridiculous choice of like uh, what what character you wanted to play in a fighting game like uh, like uh, a choice that has like hardly any repercussions on like your day to day life but you're, you're made to feel inadequate about it and uh, you, you're you're made to think that like uh, people's opinions are somehow elevated over the opinions of others. So um, you, you sort of like uh, measure your self-worth according to um, whatever fucking parameters some extremely good button presser has in their head. <clears throat> uh, but I am I am as much a victim of that shit as as anyone else. I love a tier list, but I also see like the um, uh, I, I I also like to think that I value it correctly. Like, I don't ever, ever take a tier list seriously, right? Uh, unless, um, uh, unless it's like properly argued, unless it's like uh, presented in, in a way with like valid arguments as to why someone is like placed in whatever tier that they're placed in. But you're never gonna find that. You're never gonna find it. There's like a handful of people that, that do that kind of shit. I know there's like a handful of competitors that use like a uh, tier list to sort of like evaluate the state of like a particular game. They use a tier list as a jumping off point to like discuss like um, what's what kind of strategies in the game are strong, uh, what kind of strategies in the game may be overpowered even. Um, like it's it's like a health check. It's like uh, you're you're sticking a thermometer up the anus of a of a fighting game, and and you're like evaluating that and like um, in in a way that makes sense via the characters, like the, the most important element of a fighting game, right? And in that sense, that is use, useful. But 90 percent of the time, it's just a, a platform for. Uh, for for folks who uh, don't have, uh, don't. it's it's a it's a platform for people to vent. <laughs> it's a platform for folks to vent about like what characters they they hate uh, without a any semblance of like objectivity. Like people will, will will arrange a tier list and be like, these are the characters I like. These are the characters I dislike. They're all just gonna downplay their main um, and 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 like quite possibly like use it to uh um like uh, 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 uh sort of like get get catcom to act on on like uh, uh balance patches like sort of um manipulate them into uh, um balance changes in their favor or something I, uh, maybe they don't think that way but like Uh, 
it's, it's in the back of people's mind, right? If I if I make this if I tier list hard enough, someone's gonna someone at Capcom is gonna notice and they're gonna give me all the buffs and give my enemies all of the nerfs. Uh, get real, folks. This is bullshit. And uh, <laughs> and in the spirit of this. To, to conclude my my lengthy preamble, it, um, I've I've decided to post a Street Fighter VI tier list every day. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know who is dog shit, who is hot shit, every day that I play this game. Uh, now for some some quick disclaimers, um, I only have. I only have about 13 hours into Street Fighter 6, okay? This is like the first time I've ever like played a fighting game from the ground floor from like release day one. Uh, disclaimer number two, I am not good at fighting games. I love fighting games, I love, I love playing them. I suck at them though, I am not good at them. Uh, so do, do not take my, my evaluation here as like... Uh, as any kind of like uh, a measure to go by, this is like purely 100% like subjective. Uh, for a disclaimer, I've been playing mostly World Tour mode. <laughs> I've played mostly World Tour mode. I did 75% um, of Chun Li's combo trials. I did the tutorial on the game mechanics, and I did like the character guide for Chun Li. That's all. Oh, I played a couple of casual sets. I played. Um, I, I, I'll get into that. I'll get into that. Um. Yeah. No. I, th I think that's it for disclaimers. Uh. So so keep that in mind. Uh. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be pumping these out. Um, and I, I think um, from from like um, uh, fr from sort of like a, a what's the word? Mm. Oh, I, th I thought I'd find a word in this beer. It's not in there. Fuck it. I, I think this is gonna be interesting. Uh, this is day two. Uh, less than forty-eight hours into Street Fighter Six. Where are these characters at? Who's top dog? Who's 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 screwed it? Who's screwing the pooch? Uh, let's get into it. You know, let, let, let me change up the vibe as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I, I got I got the Chun Li themes out. Uh, let's see. Chun Li. You can you can tell I got a bias here, right? Chun Li, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel vs. Capcom one. Yes, that's my jam. That's my shit. Let's go. Okay. Well, okay. Let's take this in alphabetical order. Dalsim is number one. Easy, easy pick. This is going right in D. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, but before we start placing uh, people on the tiers here, maybe it's worth like interrogating uh, our, our our formatting here, right? We've got S A B C D, which if you're making tiers for like I don't know snack foods or sodas or whatever, that's that's fine. Uh, but for fighting games, you have to like sort of acknowledge that like um, character balance. Um, has become uh, a, a bit easier for 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 these uh, game developers to to, to, to develop, right? Um, and as a result, um, most of these games, most of the fighting games, uh, the modern ones, uh, or at least in the, in recent years, are like fairly well balanced. So there isn't like a, much of a, a a gap between these tiers in terms of like uh, character performance, right? So. What what I notice is like especially for like Guilty Gear Strive for example, you would have something like um, you would have S plus here, S S plus, and then 
S and then A A minus and then perhaps perhaps a B. Perhaps a B, right? <clears throat> and that's sort of like reflective of just the character strength in general, like in Guilty Gear, all of the characters are like fairly high powered. Like uh, and they've they've got all kinds of uh, all kinds of good shit going for them. They can they can fuck you up in two touches if they want to, if they really want to, if they feel like it. Um, then I think that's a good starting point as well. Like like that this format is not set in stone. Definitely um as as the days go by and like uh my 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 perspective changes on street fighter and this is probably going to change as well but this is a good place to start i think because i feel like street fighter 6 has got uh same kind of like approach to his characters and like uh making all of them um appear very powerful like uh, everyone has like their their unique selling points and um, they've got like some way to, 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 to ruin your day. That's, that's uh, the, the sense that I've gotten so far. Uh, I don't think there are any characters that stand out in terms of power. I don't think there are any characters that are like noticeably weaker than the rest so far. I'm basing this off of like uh, streams I've watched, um, just the, 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 the cosmic uh, background radiation of Twitter. Um, yeah, yeah, YouTubes, YouTube videos, <laughs> just uh, uh, content creators that I watch. Like, it seems as though everyone is really powerful. So, so that's what that's where we're started at. That's that's where that's where we're at now. So, this is what we're looking at. That being said, can I can I add tears to that? Can I add tears to this? Add robe. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, no, no. I think we're good for now. We're good for now. Dawson, look. Uh. In Street Fighter Five, I've only played a handful of Dawsons. I never made it past gold. I never made it past gold rank. And the Delsons I've played against, I can count on one hand. Um, yeah, so I can't... Um, have I played any Delsim in Street Fighter 6? No. I've played zero Delsims in Street Fighter 6. I haven't, I haven't played against a single Delsim. I played against an avatar who had the Delsim moveset, but like, I think we were both just... Uh, playing to get the, uh, the, the the daily reward thing, so neither of us were like playing for real. So I wasn't even paying attention, really. I haven't run into Dulcim in the world tour mode, so I don't know. I don't know what his vibe is like. I don't know if he'll he'll send feet picks. I don't know if he'll send stretchy feet picks. Um, what do I know about Dulcim? He looks fucked up. He looks fucked up. I've I've never liked Dawson. Um because of the the limbs. I don't I don't I think the, the, the stretchy limbs are creepy. I'll never be a Dawson player. Um it just it just makes me feel weird. Like his limbs are made of jelly and they stretch. And it, it makes me it makes me feel nasty. It's like um the same kind of reaction as like when you see someone get like uh, a a a football kicked into their nuts or something right and I and when I see like um, um, Dawson do a crouching hard punch or some shit I just go Ugh, my arms Ugh. Um, I think uh, uh, in terms of like I don't know theming he's cool I guess like Uh, I'd, I, I like I like doing a bit of yoga myself. Uh, yoga has never allowed me to uh, breathe fire onto people, but if it, if it if it if it ever could, I'd love to be able to do that. Um, hit, hit me up, hit me up, Dawson. Like, uh, let, let me uh, t teach me this fire breathing technique. Um, I've 
got a lot of scores to settle. Uh, yeah, f f fuck Dalsim. Um, okay, uh, one one very important touchstone on Dalsim, uh, Mr. Crimson. So one of, one of my favorite Street Fighter V uh, players. Um, I just watched him play uh, a bunch of uh, incredible sets in uh, the Topanga, the Topanga Championship. Um, he's he's a, he's a fucking beast, and he makes Dalsim look nasty. And from what I understand, Dulcim in Street Fighter VI is even easier to play uh, because you don't have to tiger knee his teleport inputs, which means, and I, I've seen a couple of Twitter clips of this as well, which means that like Dulcim is just like um, doing teleport mix-ups all day, all day long, not not a care in the world, teleporting from from one side to the other and like um, fucking you up. It looks awful. It looks terrible. Okay, so in terms of, um, I, I, do I like this guy? Um, that, that, that's a definite no. I love, I love seeing Mr. Crimson play Dalsim. He's just, he's just a, a, a great player. But I don't like this rubbery ass. Uh, okay, okay, let's, let's put you in A- minus then. Because he's probably going to be strong. He's probably going to be strong. Um... Yeah, uh, c conclusion, uh, Dulcim A minus, he's probably gonna be strong. E Honda. I could not give less, less of a shit about this guy. I, I, I can't. At least that's what I thought. Until, um, until Street Fighter 6. Because he looks kinda dope. He looks kind of sick in Street Fighter Six. I like, I like his, I like his uh, poise, and I like his bearing. Um, he's just, uh, he's just, he's small, round, and lovable. He's got the, he's got the face paint. He, he looks like he, he doesn't have a care in the world. He's just, uh, he's, he's smacking bitches up with, with a hundred hands. He's got like a launch. He's got like a launcher. Um, butt stomp. He, he, he stomp butt? Uh... I watched a little bit of sumo, so I'm like, just like, partially, like, just a little bit sumo literate. I like his win animation, where he's like, fucking blasting hands into a bunch of cars. I don't know what that is about, but it looks kind of sick. Uh, Lord Knight is playing Honda. Uh, I, I thought he'd pick like a, a, a waifu, but like uh, he's, he's playing Honda instead. And like th this game is no shortage of waifus. So there, Honda's got a little something. He's got a little. He's got a little secret sauce going on. Ending Walker is playing Honda. Uh, Ending Walker, like a, 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 a miniature a miniature killer of like a Street Fighter Five. He's playing, playing Honda. I watched some of his sets yesterday in Assault Mine League. But I also had company over, so I wasn't really paying attention. But he did win. So, okay. And his limbs don't stretch. His limbs don't stretch. They stay the same length. They just go really, really fast. Yeah, so he belongs in A, really. He's got the secret sauce. Uh, Honda's got the... He's got some sort of secret sauce. I don't know what it is. I'm curious, actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna try some Marissa in a bit. But I'm, I, I will give Honda a try at some point. You know, I was speaking to someone the other day. Uh, who was telling me they did the, the Capcom uh, character quiz. And uh, they, they, uh, she said she got Honda. And I was like, no, no way are you playing Honda. No, Honda, ugh, boo, stinky. Um, and she was like, well, yeah, I mean, it kind of makes sense because because May, because she plays May in, in Guilty Gear. And I was like, whoa, oh, huh? What? Huh? I like, I, I had never made that association before. Like, uh, May is basically the Honda of Guilty Gear. It's like the uh, forward forward moving like charge moves. Type type thing. I'm not sure what you, um, how you, how you would describe that archetype. 
but yeah, I was surprised by that. So, Honda, I got my eye on you. I got my eye on you, Honda. You're you're uh, an, an A character, just just straight straight A's. DJ. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. So, DJ, as a uh, as a as a fellow. Um, uh, uh, citizen uh, as a as a fellow Caribbean, uh, I've got I've got some thoughts on DJ. Like first of all, um, I I I just uh, um, here's the thing. I I really don't like. Like the the sort of like pussification of like Patswa, like this uh, this just this general like um, uh, uh, whitewashing. Whitewashing is obviously not the, not the right word here. It's it's like and hmm. I'm I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to communicate something here. Uh, but, but perhaps I've, I've got a, a couple too many beers in me to like uh, it, it, it do it justice. But <laughs> um, having having been around like um, the, the, the patchwaiization of like the, the English language and like to to to, to hear like um, uh, the, the sort of like um, the. The, the 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 nastiness and and, and vigor and like uh, and like the, uh, the, the, the 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 sneering in it and I, and I say this with all love it's just there's there's a voice you use around white people and there's a voice you use around your people and like DJ, the character that like uh, we have as DJ in Street Fighter Six, is like trying to, to to have it both ways. You feel me? Um, it's like we we want we want this uh, this 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 ethnic character. We want to make him as as friendly and palatable as possible. Um, where, where whereas like. <laughs> Like, uh, DJ will never call you a mother's cunt. Like, uh, DJ will, like... I, I need DJ to get nasty with it. I, I, I don't like, um, the... I don't like how friendly he is. But here's the thing. I feel like he's gonna be nasty. He's got, like, the fucking, uh, dandy step, faint moves. He's got like uh, a, a guile-like toolkit. He's gonna he's gonna flash kick. He's gonna sonic boom, and he's gonna make it make it look kind of sick as well. He's got the um, the, uh, the 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 super arts that is like a rhythm game. Yo, what is this? No, it is not Persona music time. Bring bring this back. There we go. Mm. Here's another thing. They axed the maximum pants. I was very upset about that. <clears throat> I was very upset about that. Um, but it's all good now because they 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 dropped the uh, the nostalgia costumes at like release. But they, they did that only like the day before release. They only announced that like the day before release. So like all the way leading up to this, I was like, where the fuck are DJ's maximum pants? I want the maximum pants. The maximum trousers for for you for you UK folk. You, you see, you see, like I'm 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 doing I'm doing the whole the, the whole code switching thing here myself and like I'm not even realizing it. It's uh it's uh um, there, there ain't a fucking Capcom executive out there that, that understands that. Like, I need, I need, um... <laughs> uh. mm. Look, DJ. Uh... 
Uh, this, you're, you're, you're a sick character. I love I love what they did for you. I love I love the design, and I love that they um, didn't make you like um, a, a second-rate uh, black guile for Street Fighter VI. That rules. But I need you to get nasty with it, and I need you I need you to show the rest of these casts. I need you to show the rest of the cast what what is up, and I need you to show them what what the Caribbean is about. Shoutouts to Menno. That's where I learned to play Street Fighter. That's that's how I did that. Um, DJ is going in in A. I haven't played any. <laughs> Maybe I should have mentioned that. I haven't played against any DJ so far. <laughs> I I haven't met him in World Tour either, so I don't really know what his vibe is about. So, um, uh, maybe he still has the, the opportunity, uh, to, 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 to call me a cunt in, um, in, in, in World Tour. Like, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, we're right now A. I think A. I'm gonna have to play against more DJs. Now. But now. Manon is interesting because this is a player. This is a character that I have played against. Um, I, I had my my eye on Manon for a minute actually because um, I played I played a teensy bit of Able in Street Fighter Four. I didn't play much Street Fighter Four at all, but she's she is French. She is she's she's a ballerina and she does judo. She's a fri she's a triple threat. You know. As they say in showbiz, she's a, she's a triple threat. She 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 can she can dance. She can throw you through a glass table. Um, she's got ballerina feet. Um, please don't Google ballerina feet like I did. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So. I was gonna, like, when Manon was first announced, well, Manon was first leaked, I should say, I was like, oh, I'm gonna play her, she seems dope. I'm like, her, her concept art was really sick. Um, and she, she's still, she's still really cool. She is like, um, I, 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 I love the, the, the imperious, like, um, uh, uh, Ojo-sama adjacent vibes. I'm, I'm a sucker for Ojo-samas. Um, all day, every day. Um, I love the I love the buccal fat distribution. It's looking looking gorgeous. Um, she's got like she's got like the the, the skin type daily under like the judo gi. Um, rules absolutely rules. I can't can't complain. Um, and I happen to play like a first to ten set. With with a friend, like um, on on was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday, or maybe even the day before. And she's a threat. She's dangerous. Um, like we, we both did not play much Street Fighter. Um, we, we haven't played much Street Fighter. Well, I mean, obviously, because it's only been out for two days. Like, and it, we, we, it, you know. Both around the same skill level, I'd say. But as soon as we got to like, you know, game five, game six, like she she was busting out the um, drive rush, the drive rush into command grab type shit, and like that the metal levels were climbing and uh, the the damage was mounting, and like just an immediate like you you feel that fight or flight happening, you know. Manon is a menace. Uh, she's got a quick overhead. She's got a quick low. She's got like a stun. She's got stun, stun dip energy. Um, and and she'll she'll use that shit. Uh, yeah, it was it was a really good match. It was a really good game. Like uh, just 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 ten games. Like uh, and it, it went like. 10, 9. I lost. I lost, by the way. Actually, yeah, that's... Manon is in S+, actually. Uh, <laughs> she beat me 10 to 9. <laughs> she's, 
she's an, she's an S. When I was an S, I put up a fight. I put up a fight. Um. Manana Manan is an S tier character. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's about it. I'm Manan, I guess. Like, uh, no, that meta level is, is no joke. Like, once that number goes up, then, like, uh, that's, that, 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 that's it for you. Uh, your, your game plan changes. You, you have to adapt or die, like, on the fly each time. Um, and, and whenever you get hit with a command grab, you just you just curse yourself. I've been I've been hit with plenty of SPDs in, in my time, and um, don't like it obviously. Uh, but when you get hit with like the the command grab from a nun, it's like no no, fuck, fuck it, just and end me please. Uh, Watch out for Manon. Esther character for sure. Marissa. Mm. I kind of want to put Marissa in S tier. Uh, because uh, there, there are a couple in my head canon. I don't want to separate them. Uh, she's large. She's mommy. She's large mom. Uh, she's got the helmet hair, which I thought was like goofy uh, in parentheses, uh, der derogatory, but actually goofy in, in parentheses good, maybe. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I've come, I've come around on the helmet hair. I just think it's, it's, it's good. It's funny. Um, I've also come around on the the Italian accent VA. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? It's good. I watched um, a Street Fighter VI like day one tournament at um, uh, Meltdown in London. There was some like very good Marissa representation from uh, King J. Um, showed off some some really powerful like uh, Manon Manon setups. Um, she's got plus frame. She's got armor. She. Uh, is also looking very menacing right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna give her a try in a in a sec. Once I've uh, evaluated this cast, and um, yeah, I, I was gonna main Marissa at some point, but I'm like I, I played Chun Li in the open beta, and I was like, ooh, I can't abandon my queen. Um, Marissa, just on vibes alone, S tier. Uh, I haven't played against any Marissas. I should I should add I have not played any Marissas in the game so far. <laughs> like I said, it's been mostly World Tour. <laughs> JP, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> oh um oh, got a uh, shout outs to to Big Bird posting some Marissa clips that look absolutely fucking disgusting. Um, that's it's got me excited. Uh, but moving moving on to JP. This is a clown. This is a, this is a P Piero. This is a, a fucking um, big red nose honk honk clown clown person. Like you suck. You're nasty. I love zoners. I played Falk in Street Fighter V. That was my main. I I am not a zoner hater. I think zoners zoners are valid. I think. The zoners, I, th I love I love zoning. I think it's a great playstyle. I'm, I'm a testament main and strive. You already know that. Uh, yeah, so I, I do not have zoner hate in my heart. But this dude is so fucking corny. And the, the way he's like bamboozled like some of my favorite some of my favorite com competitors in, in, in fighting games has got me just scratching my head. Like this guy looks goofy as fuck. Like, um, I, I do, I do not see the, I, I don't see the appeal. This guy looks like, that looks like, uh, Sa Santa Claus if he went on a diet. Um, and, and that's why he's so fucking grumpy, is because he's on a fucking diet. Like, have your, like, please, please eat something, Santa, please. 
<laughs> just do it do it for me um as far as like game mechanics i have not played any i have not played any J, jps I, I haven't played against any of them but it looks awful um uh i'm i'm too i'm too small brained to to understand how jp works like based on the twitter clips i've seen i know he's got like a full screen command grabber or whatever the fuck like i don't know if that is literally a full screen command grab or whether it's like uh fgc babies being like wah 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 um he can command grab you from full screen or whatever but but literally but but actually it's it's just a fucking uh, it's it's something else entirely it's just like it's, um whiners whining i'm not sure because i haven't played against him <laughs> mm. so jp you're corny um your suit is gaudy it looks dumb your 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 alternate outfit is um forgettable i forgot what it looks like probably sucks um he shoots he shoots ghosts at you out of his out of his staff he's a fucking he's a fucking harry potter character he's like he's like um He's like Dumbledore if he went the the route of if he went the the the, the path of evil wizardry. It's like a necromancer Dumbledore. Um, like he's he's but he's uh, a gay, but he also like it's one it's one of them one of them white gay dudes that that like has really strong opinions about Muslims. I I just made that up, but that feels. Totally accurate. Oh my god, do not ask this guy about his opinions on Muslims. Uh, JP, stay in, stay in. Actually, let's... That's it. That's right, that's right. Added a new tier just for this piece of shit. Just for this piece of work. JP is in the racist too. You're gonna have to work. You're gonna have to work to get out of the racist tier, JP. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I like I like Zoners a lot, and I might play JP because a lot of my favorite, um, a lot of my favorite uh, fighting fighting game competitors are playing JP. Ah. Um, and they're, they're great players, they're smart players, and they're probably gonna come up with like really sick tech. Um, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to live with the knowledge that JP is going to uh, be probably gonna be strong and I'm probably gonna see him do cool shit. My, uh, all, all of my faves are gonna do cool shit with JP. Very sad. Very sad. Um, but who knows? Might learn something about him in the in the world tour. Maybe something that redeems his his racism. The the, the, the racism of his like uh, appearance and overall vibes. Um, we'll see. We'll see JP. But right now, you are in the racist tier, and you'll stay in the racist tier. Zangief. I'm feeling B. I'm feeling B. I don't like getting SPD. Uh, I've been, I haven't streamed in a minute. That's because I was going through some shit. I, I've, I've been going through it the, the last couple of weeks, just like a, a, a life shit. You know how it is. And uh, when you, when you're having a hard time, in, in, in life. Uh, uh, work finances relationships all that you know it has a knock-on effect on uh, the, uh, more important things in your life like video games so I, I've been looking forward to Street Fighter 6 for um, over a year I've been I've been counting down the days for Street Fighter 6 to be released and like in the last couple of weeks like things have been real rough and it's it's made me 
I feel real pessimistic about Street Fighter VI as well. Uh, to the point where <laughs> I, I I had like I had like these dreams where I was playing Street Fighter VI and I was up against Zang Zangief and I got I got SPD <laughs> I got I got hit with an SPD and in my dream I was like okay fuck this game like um fucking Alt F4 out uninstall from Steam and like never install it. <laughs> That's what I, <laughs> I don't know. This is just a, a character that strikes fear into people. Um grapplers, etc. etc. Like Zangief, not a threat, was not a threat to me in Street Fighter V because I was I was playing Falk and that's a that's a horrible matchup for, for Geef. Um but like I said, I'm not great at fighting games. And there were geeks that were simply better than me. But every once in a while I'd run into a geef and they would humble me. And it just it, it was like having the foundations of my my character, the foundations of my play just like kicked out from under me. Um It's an awful feeling. It's an awful feeling. And um Geef is back to do more of that? Question mark? See, I don't know because I haven't played any Geefs. Day two. Day two tier list. <laughs> Here it is. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna put you in B. Oh, also, I saw the uh, the win animation that Zang Gif does when he gets a perfect, and it's disturbing. I don't like it. That's bad. Yeah, so yeah, you're gonna be in B. Um, anything else I need to consider? Oh, jiggle physics. Um, oh shit. Okay. Here we go. We're, we're gonna need another row here. Uh, we're putting we're putting Zangief in B plus because I love I love those jiggles. Oh, I love them jiggle physics. Oh, yeah, they um, Capcom have done some 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 wonderful some some magic of like the the, the fucking uh, muscle and fat physics um, in 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 these character models like uh, just a uh, just a uh, just just beautiful like Eve looks just just delicious in motion he's just like it's just, he looks real nice I'm not gonna lie um I did this is based off off of trailer footage and shit that I've seen of course I haven't played any Keith yet um yeah no Keith looks hot but he still he, he he stalks me in my dreams so B plus Lily, on the other hand, looks weird. Like everyone else has got like the, the the realistic proportion, but they had to give Lily like the 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 extra cute anime eyes for some reason. Like uh, their, her her eyeballs are like fifty percent of her skull, and that's wild. Other than that, I don't have much of an opinion on Lily because like I, I didn't play much Street Fighter for. I played some Super Turbo, and T Hawk is cheap. T Hawk is so cheap. Um, but I don't really care about Super Turbo. I don't think about T Hawk. Mm. Lily's got the she's got the clubs. That's pretty cool. Uh. Uh, she's got the wind thing. I don't. I don't even know how that works. I don't know. I don't know much about Lily. Uh, and she did not seem very interesting when the like collection of trailers came out with like Geef and Cami. Like Lily seemed like the least interesting. Mm, I haven't played against any Lily so far. 
or um, VO seems kind of annoying. Yeah, you're going in B, girl. Sorry. No. Uh, yeah, that that's about that's about as far as it goes with like um, my how I feel about Lily. Yeah, that's that's Lily. Cammy. I don't like how thirsty people are for Cammy. You'll need to calm the fuck down. Um, she's just she's just a white girl. <laughs> she's just. She's just a white girl. She's just a white gym girl. Chill the fuck out. Not gonna lie. The belly is looking tight. The booty is looking tight. Tammy is hot, but she's no hotter than regular ass British ass gym girl. Like. Um, if, if, if you live here, you've, you've seen this bitch. You've seen this bitch around. She She's around. She's just, she's got the, she's wearing a jacket with the Union Jack on it. She's got, she's wearing yoga pants in the daytime. He's just like fucking, uh, t um, trying out the, the, the fragrances at Boots. She's, um, fucking ordering a, a, a fucking, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, the, 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 uh, damn, I'm 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 too hungry for this shit. <laughs> I, I'm thinking about like the the, the panko bread, like a uh, uh, pumpkin uh, pumpkin thing from from Pampoco, which is like not a reference that anyone outside of my circle would get. Like she she she's ordering shit at Pret. She she's a Pret Pret type bitch. Um, yeah, she's, she's a, she's a fucking h and ms like, she's basic. This is, this is not who you should be fucking thirsting over. Come on, chill. Um, that said, I've seen, um, Kami being utilized, um, in some really exhilarating uh, sets yesterday um, at the, uh, the, the the meltdown day one tournament uh, being being piloted by by hurricane um, that, that looked fucking fucking awesome it was really sick um, like punishing a fucking sand blasts before they came out with like a, a super that with the level three super that is just Insane, it's like got me hype as fuck. She's got she got more mix, she's got more mobility. Um, she's got like uh, a, a really cool um, uh, poke, which I think is like I think it's like a command normal with like um, with HK with like roundhouse. Not 100% sure. I played against Cami in a couple of sets yesterday, actually. Um, that a fucking spin knuckle like catches me off guard every time. Uh, I think she's gonna be strong. People are saying she isn't strong, but I think that's wishful thinking. You know, uh, I'm gonna put Cammy in A. No, I'm gonna put her in A minus because y'all need to y'all need to behave like um, she's 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 just a white lady. Just chill. Ryu? Uh, where am I gonna put Ryu? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's like the, the fucking vanilla soft serve of Street Fighter. Then again, I had some fucking vanilla soft serve this afternoon and it was fucking delicious. I haven't had a soft serve ice cream in years. Years. It's delicious. How is soft serve made? I don't know. It's good though. They put a twirl in that shit? Oh my god. 
War Mass Day Sunday Shining. I'm just like, just devouring a soft serve. That was good. Um, based off that alone, I might just put Ryu in A, actually. Uh, yeah. Ryu's got the sauce. I, l I like what they've done to Ryu. Like, uh, they, 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 Ryu is sort of like an anchor character for like uh, Street Fighter. The way I understand it, like uh, the rest of the cast is sort of like balanced around Ryu's strengths and weaknesses. This may have been the case for like uh, Super Turbo, uh, but I'm sure they've got like a, a, a much more uh, a much deeper understanding of like uh, character balance that doesn't rely on like one character being like the the, the, the single focus, right? So um, yeah, Ryu is like a character that's like consistently like uh, mid tier plus or minus, um, but I feel like without straying too far from like what makes Ryu Ryu, they've like tried to give him uh, just a, a greater variety, like uh, some more uniqueness. And I think they were largely successful in that. Um, I, I think the, what is it, the, the mini Hadouken, what was it called? Uh, I think that's really sick. I think that the, the Hashogeki is kind of sick. It like uh, really spices up his like combo, combo roots, and they look really cool. I think Ryu's kind of got sauce, and he just gets he just gets hotter and hotter with like each new Street Fighter, Street Fighter game. Like I remember Twink Ryu and Alpha, that was uh, very very important for me. Um. And then Street Fighter 4, I can like sort of take relief. Like I, I did not put much time in Street Fighter 4, just just a dash, just a tiny bit. But when the the uh, the initial footage was released for Street Fighter 5, and they, and I saw Ryu with a fucking beard, I was like, oh my god, oh dear, oh my god. I I just um that was that was quite something. <laughs> That was that was hot as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Ryu is kind of a babe, and um, yeah, I think he's just like grown more and more into his like uh, bara, like bearishness in in Street Fighter Six. I love that. Like Ryu is Ryu is hunky. Uh, I love his eyebrows. He's he's how old now, and he's still single. That doesn't um, that doesn't that doesn't raise some eyebrows for you. Ken Ken's got a wife and kids, but oh no, R Ryu he's like the perpetual bachelor who like travels the world, uh, seeking uh, what uh, new new experiences, uh, worthy opponents. You say seeking worthy opponent. Hmm, I see you, Ryu. I see you. Hmm. Yeah, A tier. Ryu is A tier. Because at the end of the day, he's still vanilla. Like, I'd, I'd put him in S, but like, yeah, it's just still. Like, you're gonna look like a fucking nerd, like, ordering Ryu at the ice cream place, the ice cream shop, <laughs> the gelateria. <laughs> The Capcom Gelateria. Uh, Luke. Luke, Luke is an A minus character. Luke, um, uh, bizarre, just weird. Like, I can see how Luke came to, to, to be as like sort of a, like, uh, um, as, as the result of like some, some boardroom meeting between some some Japanese suits being like, hmm, we need to appeal more to the Western audience. Like, <laughs> like th this question has been been posed to like um, a myriad focus groups. I'm I'm sure how to how to appeal, how to make 
uh, Street Fighter appeal to the Western audience. And like somehow they've like compiled all of these answers and come up with Luke. Uh, I, I, um, some of it is successful and some of it is just like just mind boggling. Like he's uh, uh, PC gaming, junk food loving, gym bro who um, also commits war crimes. He's like a, like a private military contractor. He's like he's one of the bad guys, just like unequivocally. There are <laughs> like there are no good private military. What the fuck? He, um, I guess I guess he's a street fighter now, right? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but he seems so sweet. He's just like a sweet, goofy himbo. His hair is dumb. His hair is intensely dumb. But something about him is charming. I don't know. He's got like... He's got like this weird like V tattooed on his chest. Which I suppose would make some sense in like Street Fighter V, you know? V. But... This is Street Fighter 6. And also he's wearing a shirt. He's wearing a t-shirt with the V on it. The same V design as his tattoo. Why? Okay, I... That's, that, that's it. I, 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 I don't need to think about this any, any more than I already have. Um, aside from what I've just mentioned, aside from like these these, these fucking questions that will plague me, um, I should say that like uh, Luke's combos look kind of sick. His like um, the whole like uh, perfect flash knuckle thing. Um, I, I I love hitting those. Um, I love seeing other people like uh, utilize him. Um, the Momochi combo, where he does like the aerial flash knuckle and then the level 3 super. Oh, excuse me. Pretty cool looking. Yeah. Not gonna lie, he's got sauce. A minus is uh, where he belongs. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm, Jamie. Yeah. I think Jamie also belongs in A minus. Um, Jamie is sort of like um, he's sort of like a, a, a shadow. He's sort of like a foil to to, to Luke. Um, not in any kind of like uh, story story ways or whatever. He's just like I feel like they they sort of play off of each other in in one way or another. I haven't met him in the story mode. I haven't played against him in. Uh, in 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 in, uh, in in any games. So, but but I've seen plenty of footage of him. Uh, to be fair, I did play against a couple of Jamies in the open beta. It didn't give me much of an impression. Um, I like his. I like the way he's animated, but I think he could be more drunk. <laughs> um. And he's cute. He's slutty. He's cute. He's got like the he's got the belly out. He's got like the um, the, the, the crop cropped hoodie, which is like just the the, the sluttiest thing a guy can wear. Um, but I don't like his attitude. I think he needs to. He's just a, just a little bit full of himself. So he needs to he needs to check that shit. So he's just a, just a little slut. Just a little slut. Slooty Jamie. Um, I'm faking. I'm faking. I'm faking. I, uh, I, could, I could, I could bring just a little bit more rigor to this, to this practice. No, no, I can't actually. No, this is day two. This is a day two tier list. This is what tier lists are. This is what, um, this is what content does to your brain. Uh, Jamie is an A minus character. Chun Li. 
B plus, please buff. I I don't I don't like No, I do like that. I I do like the this this level of self awareness that like uh, Capcom is bringing to this this world tour, or like they're just uh, uh, constantly drawing attention to uh, the stuff that makes horny fans horny. Um, I think that's funny. I think like just just have that shit out in the open. Like um, y'all know what's up. We know what's up. We can have a laugh about it, and then like whatever you choose to do in your private time. Uh, with uh, with uh, source source movie maker, that's up to you. That's up to you. Chun Li is. She, um, I love that she's just ascended to milf mode. Uh, she she looks great. Um, I I love her. I love her design. I love that she is just she's just really feeling herself now. Like all of the all of the the demons of her past have been like uh, buried, and she can like just just be herself. Like her spiked bangles are just replaced with like cool geometric diamond pattern bangles. Um, you know the, the buns have been set free. Uh, the cake is the cake is as cakey as usual. Um, yeah. Plus, um, I love the extra the, the added layer of complexity with like the the the, the stance cancels, like being able to cancel. The um, uncancelable normals into stance, which can like extend your combo somehow. I need to do a bit more experimenting with that. I'm not sure how that works exactly, but I'm uh, my interest is peaked, and I want to know more. Um, Chun, Chun Li is really cool, but she needs buffs. I don't know what I don't know what should be buffed exactly, but I think. Yeah, she probably needs it. She probably needs buffs. Yeah, bu buff Chun. Guile. Is also a B. Guile is a B plus character. Uh, 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 Guile is an A minus character, actually. Guile, uh, I like his facial hair. Um, I think uh, he, he really makes the goatee work. His normals are absurd. Um, I think his his zoning is is top tier, um, but he's got a tattoo of the American flag on his arm. He's, he's a B plus. He's B plus. Mm. But he's B plus, but he doesn't need buffs. He belongs right here in B plus, B plus tier. I'm so good at this shit. I see why people do this now. I see why people like uh, make tier lists all the time. It's like uh, it's so easy. Um, if there's one thing I've realized from doing this is that I need to play more Street Fighter. Like I'm, I'm spending a lot of time talking about like um, characters when I could be playing Street Fighter. Actually, um, <laughs> I might want to do an actual tier list at some point. Like a legit, this this is a legit tier list, but future tier lists may be more legit than this. Kimberly. Mm. I'm thinking A minus. Uh, is right off the bat, Kimberly looks awesome. Um, I love uh, what they've done for Kimberly in terms of uh, animation. Her presence on the screen is like she's 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 lovable. She's adorable. She's energetic. Um, she's she's constantly like. Uh, uh, bopping to the, the the rhythm of the music in her own head, and I think that's a I think that's a very relatable characteristic for for anyone um, in it in my peer group with my level of autism. I don't know, like y'all ever just like. <laughs> 
Hmm, how do I explain this? Like, I understand that there are people who have, like, a, a running inner dialogue, right? They have, like, this, uh, this, this uh, back and forth with the voice in their brain throughout the day, like, and it's like a constantly running, like, uh, patter that is just going through their head, like, um, whether they're thinking about something or, like, uh, constantly there's a voice that is, like, pre-playing whatever um, things that they may be saying from their mouths in their head, right? I recognize that. It's uh, um, something that I experience on occasion, but, like, <laughs> like, most of the time, there is nothing going on in my head, except music. There is, like, I've got, like, some track or another just, like, fucking uh, pounding on the, the walls of my skull, just, like, taking up all of the fucking screen time. Um, and, like, coloring all of the experiences around me somehow. Like, um... I'll, I'll see I'll see a dog walking down the road and like a specific song starts playing in my head like if um, if I if I think of if I think of some someone if I think of like a particular person like a, a, a song starts playing if I'm like going from one place to another like a, a particular track starts playing and I, um, I feel like Kimberly is sort of like an a, embodiment of like that that kind of phenomenon as well I wonder if that has something to do with like iPods. <laughs> I wonder if it's because I'm on my I'm on my phone too damn much. I don't know. Uh, Kimberly, uh, you're, you, is she's got the she's got a super that like man. Actually, you know what, Kimberly Kimberly belongs in eight tier. Um, her, her mix is annoying as fuck, and I still don't know how to, how to play against it. She's strong, uh, but she's stubby. She's got the stubby normals. So, yeah, a tier. Jury is another character that people need to calm the fuck down about. Uh, she's, she's B+. Plus. Uh, she is not that bad. Okay, just... Uh, she's... She's kind of bad. I... Here's the thing, I'm, I'm a sucker for Sundarays, and especially Sundarays who have, like, um, a, a bit of self-awareness about, like, uh, uh their, their, their Sundarayness, you know? Like, uh, if they're, if they're being a Sundaray is, like, performative and they're aware of like the performativity of that um that i think that's that's funny and that rules does jury exhibit that though i'm not 100 percent sure uh, i've only played a handful of jury so far and they've all been brain dead um uh i've beaten them pretty handily uh but then again uh, let me let me restate. I've only played about 13 hours of Street Fighter 6. Most of it has been World Tour. <laughs> so if Jury is a threat, I haven't fucking noticed. Um, B plus feet. Ken. Ken is a minus. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, Ken, you're an A minus because I'm I am slowly like giving up on this on this on this joke. Like, I've I've run out of beer, and I'm getting kind of hungry. I I do need to eat something. Oh, yeah. Well, let me open this. Got a got a fucking coke here. That'll that'll pep me up a bit.
Um, can look strong. Um, here's the thing. I feel like his like um, run cancel stuff is like kind of redundant. If you got like a drive rush, like do, can you do both at the same time? I don't know. I've got some pretty negative connotations surrounding Ken thanks to his presence in Street Fighter V. Um, he was pretty pretty strong throughout the uh, the last leg of like Street Fighter V's life cycle, and I've had to fucking deal with that uh, many 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 times. Very tiresome. Um, like um, EXDP is a fucking bane. Um, I think, I think Goofy's, I, I think Ken's hobo transformation is Goofy. <laughs> yeah, that was called Ken Goofy. That was called, like, <laughs> oh, oh dear, oh dear. Um, I think Ken's, um, uh, houseless transformation is uh, Goofy, it's laughable. Um, like his whole uh, rich rich guy on hard times thing is like I don't know. I guess it's it's good that you're you're trying something new. Um, like doing doing a different thing for Ken. I like I like the the, the look of like vagrancy. Um, <laughs> what, what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I might dabble in a little bit of Ken. I might dabble in just a, a, a tiny bit of Ken. Uh, and finally, Blanca uh, is S tier. Blanca is an S tier character because um, I haven't put anyone in S plus tier yet. <laughs> okay, um, no, Blanca is not S plus tier. What? Oh, what happened? Oh, there, there he is. Blanc is not S plus tier. We're gonna remove S plus tier. I think this is accurate. I don't think anyone is S plus tier. I think it's accurate to say at this point, days two. Um, so where do I put Blanca? I played a couple of sets against Blanca yesterday. And he's strong. He's uh, strong, and the, the, the Blanca that I played against was strong in the couple of sets that I played against. <laughs> Yo. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I've played against Blanca quite a bit in Street Fighter V. One, one, of, my, one of my friends is uh, was a Blanca main for some time, so I had like... Uh, quite a bit of experience in the, the Blanca matchup. Um, and I found it tricky throughout. Like, like I, I found it difficult to, to punish Blanca's balls. <laughs> I was, I've always had difficulty with that. <laughs> oh gosh. Mm. Okay. Let me finish this off. I need to eat something. Holy shit. Oh, it's late. It's late. It's late for dinner. <laughs> um Blanca's looking good. I like I like the shaved sides. I like the dungarees. Um it's, it's so so good to see Blanca come out as NB. Um I'm gonna need some more time. But uh Blanca goes in B. I don't care about Blanca. <laughs> oh god. This seemed like a good idea an hour and a half ago. How the fuck did I spend an hour and a half on this? Oh my god. Making tier lists is hard actually. Making content is difficult. I'm I'm sorry if I if I may have like um uh, did did a drive by a drive by um 
drive by disparaging on on the the work of content creators uh tier lists are difficult actually oh oh gosh mm. oops damn i almost spilled that okay i'm tipsy and i'm hungry i'm gonna need to eat but this was a very important and necessary exercise uh, Street Fighter 6 day two Not even 48 hours yet. This is this is day two of the good shit um, Everybody, please enjoy Street Fighter 6 um, This this tier list is going to evolve over over time. I'm gonna be playing some some more in a bit I think I'm gonna like get into some Marissa uh, And we're gonna we're gonna learn we're gonna learn and grow and it's just the, the, the tears are gonna evolve. Uh, the tears, the tears will flow. Um, HTA uh, adjourning for now, but I will be back. Please believe that. Uh, I thank you. Bye bye.